Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at yet another really, really good Bone Lab mod. This is Drax's ISO Hemlock mod for Bone Lab, and it's just a really, really fun assault rifle. It's got a super sleek design, and it's got a bunch of unique add-ons to it that just make it very, very fun to use, from Drax's uh, UI customization system to a working fire control switch. So... It is very, very fun to use, and I'm super excited to show you guys this thing, so let's get right into it. This is what the gun actually looks like up close. You can see that the model has a ton of work put into it. As all of the MW2 models do, they're very, very pretty. This is where the charging handle is up here. There's one on the right and left side. Both of them work, so it's best for right and left-handed users. And it's best for any kind of reload style you might want. So it is very, very cool. This is the magazine. You just put it in the magazine slot right here. And pull the charging handle once. And you're ready to fire. To change the fire selection, you reach down here. If the fire is down, it's on fully automatic. If the fire is up, it's on semi-automatic. This is what it looks like on fully automatic. And this is what it's like on semi-automatic. So it just means that it takes a lot longer to deplete a magazine, and means that you have a lot more conserved shots that you can use. So... I don't really have a preferred fire, it's just both are very, very fun, and I like having the option to switch between the two. It's very, very nice. But, I'm leaving out one of the most important and unique features on this gun. If there's anything that you can see from this gun that you do not like, whether it be the length of the barrel, what the stock looks like, what anything on this gun looks like, you can reach back here and press your uh, menu button, and it opens a UI that lets you change literally anything about the gun. You can change the pistol grip. I don't really memorize any of these names or what they do. Phantom grip basically gives you a uh, gives you a skeletonized grip. A socken grip gives you like a rubber grip. Support grip has like this thing at the bottom, and the X10 grip is like a thinner grip. And then default is just the one that it comes with. I'll go with the X10 grip. You can change the stock, which I think is a really, really good addition. It lets you switch it to the same stock that's on uh, some of the SMGs. Let's you change it to like an MCX stock, a full like heavy stock, a really short stock, and then just lets you completely take off the stock if that's what you want to do. And then if you don't like the length of the barrel, you can always change that. If you want that, you can just completely elongate it. If you want to shorten it, sure, go ahead. And if you want to add a suppressor, you can even do that. Just go up here. Oh, I clicked on stocks. If you want to add a suppressor, just go to the cipher, and you got a suppressor. It's very, very fun to have all those choices, and it leaves every user's experience completely different, and I think that's awesome. That's... Jeez. I forgot how good the suppressor sounds. That is so nice. All the sounds on this gun are so punchy. It just makes it feel so nice to use. Let's customize it some more. Give it some different stuff. Like, let's put the support grip on there. Let's give it... The longer barrel. Gosh, I like that. Uh, what's stock? Let's give it the SMG stock. Jeez. That looks so good. That looks incredibly nice.
change it around a little bit more. Go back to the default grip. Hmm. Let's make it like an SMG. Like a super short stock. The smallest barrel. I think it's this one. Yeah. Just like a little little SMG. Like a little AR 9mm type thing. It's not my 9mm. It fires a lot. But yeah, that's all the NPCs. I really just went out and killed all of them, just customizing and screwing around with this thing. So you can already tell how fun this is. I've spent a ton of time using this gun, even off of video, because it's just very, very nice. And if this video made you want to download this mod, I'm super happy for that. And I'm even happier if this mo video made you want to get into modding Bone Lab as a whole, because it's a very, very fun game to start modding, and really, if you're not modding it, you're not getting the full experience of the game. And, but yeah, I think that's about it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'd like if you left a comment if you got to this point, because I don't feel many people did, but if you did, I'm happy you managed to stumble across my channel, and as always, if you ever uh, come across one of my videos again, I'd love if you stopped back in and gave me another chance. And with that, have a great night.